everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today for my first video i thought i would share with you all all of the stuff that i'm going to be taking to university as you can see all this stuff behind me is what i'm taking there is a ridiculous amount of stuff now i currently leave for university in nine days i'm actually going to uni on the 11th and it's currently the 2nd of september so i'm actually one of the earlier ones to go to uni i thought this could be a really useful video for anyone that hasn't yet bought anything for uni so maybe like a packing guide um if you really wanted to I'm currently in my mum's summer house that we have in our garden and um, we literally have nowhere to keep this stuff in the house because there's just so much of it um which is why it's a little bit echoey um and also a bit of a rubbish background um hopefully you know it won't be like this for the other videos that i do right, the first thing i'm gonna grab is probably one of the most kind of um essential things and obvious things to buy for uni and pillows now i actually got these from metalan um just standard pillows really full and bouncy apparently so you know really comfortable these were eight pound for two which i thought was really good and they're quite thick which i like because i do sleep with quite a lot of pillows at home so these will be really useful to take up with me for uni in this bag here i've basically got all of my bathroom bits we have an ensuite in my accommodation which is really really nice i'm really really happy about that if you have a shared bathroom great for me i just really wanted my own space i think i've got our towels now um i've actually got them all to match i got these all from ikea got two hand towels here a slightly larger kind of it's not quite a bath towel it's just a bit larger you know this would be perfect for like my hair or something so i got a really really large um big bath towel as well actually going to be taking some ones i already have from home because we have so many towels in this house or that i just get some new ones as well just to kind of go with the pink color theme i'm going for for my bedroom and my bathroom this thing i got is also from ikea and this is just a standard toilet brush now i don't know if my accommodation is going to come with one or not it's literally 270 so i'm not too worried if it does come with one because it's really really cheap it's a kind of beige cream color um, and I just thought, you know, it was still quite cheap, but it just looks a little bit nicer than the really standard kind of plasticky looking one. Moving on, I've then got my bath mat. I feel like whenever I step out of the shower, unless you have a bath mat, you're using unnecessary towels and it's just kind of basically using up towels that you don't need to use. And it's a really, really nice kind of pink colour um, to kind of match the theme that I'm going with. And I think this was about seven or eight pounds. So again, quite cheap. The thing I picked up is a toothbrush and toothpaste holder now this is again from matalan something standard to put my toothbrush in really and this was only two pound fifty then got individual bags in this bag that kind of hold all my toiletries and stuff so i'm not going to go through each individual thing but i'm just going to kind of collect them as uh, groups and just kind of share with you what i've got in there so in the first bag a mixture of stuff so i've got things like mouthwash bin bags these are actually vanilla scented i got these in the home bargains for like 70p deodorant toothpaste got things like plasters hay fever tablets face wipes cleaning wipes i thought that i would share with you these ones individually because i thought these were actually a really good deal so i got these in home bargains and these are the l'oreal i think it's l vibe um dream length restoring shampoo and conditioner it's actually in the xxl pack so they're really really big as you can see like they're literally massive i've actually got so much shampoo i've got some like blonde shampoo uh, some more blonde shampoos i tried to kind of stock up on them early so i don't have to spend it when i'm at uni shower gel soap razors save me money in the long run um me and my mum have bought loads of toiletries just so that when i'm up there i don't have to buy it all and you know waste loads of money moving on to my bedroom now this is some bedroom stuff i've actually got about two to three bags um of bedroom stuff so they look really full but in actual fact there's not actually that much in here i would also recommend getting some ikea bags these are literally like 50p and they're so so useful to carry things and store things in i've literally i've got three of these anyway let's get started with what's in here the first one i've got is from deep i can't even speak first one is from b&m um and it's like a dream catcher it's so nice and it's so soft i feel like people are going to say that pillows are a bit unnecessary to buy um i have so many pillows in my room upstairs and i love it um i love feeling all cozy and stuff in the winter with loads of pillows hence why i bought them this was 7.99 which i thought was pretty good so i got that one so i got this pink one from matalan this was five pound in the sale it's a very similar color again going with that kind of pink um dusty pink theme um, yeah five pound for that which i thought was really good a plain gray one which is actually in the back of my boyfriend's car at the minute um because i forgot to bring it back so yeah that was from tesco and i think it was two pounds so it was so cheap i got a mat now this again i feel like people are going to say is a really unnecessary purchase i picked this up because i feel like you 
you know, the rooms have been used by so many people. I don't know, I don't, obviously it's gonna be clean, but the carpet's been used by so many people and I feel like a rug just makes your room feel so much more cozy. So I picked this up in Ikea. This was seven pounds, so I didn't really mind getting it. Um, and it's just a really, really nice fake fur rug, basically. Just like a really cheap one. I got myself a throw for the bed. So the, I actually got this in Poundland, which loads of people were like, I was telling my friends about this and they were like, oh my God, that's really like random. They literally have a aisle, or my local one has an aisle, full of stuff that are perfect for uni. So I actually picked up a few different bits in there because it was so cheap. This was two pounds, which I thought was really good. So I got these uh, slippers. Now I actually got these in Aldi yesterday. I've been told that these are quite an essential for uni because you know, when you're going in the kitchen and it's a bit minging in there, you've got something to keep your feet a bit nice. You can get such random stuff in Aldi. Like I was just food shopping and I saw them in there. So I thought that was really good. My duvet. Now this is from my kit, absolutely massive. By the way, um, I feel like I've not actually said this yet. I've got all of my bedding um, in a double because my bedding that I've got is a three quarter double bed. So I just thought it was easier just to get everything in double because I've really struggled to find things in three quarter double size. This is 7.5 tog, you know, thickness or whatever that is. I don't actually know how to say what this one was, but I think it was 29 pounds. So it was quite expensive, but it's a duvet cover it's gonna keep me warm and it's something that I, you know you have to get I also got a lamp now this was really cheap this was like five no it wasn't it was like three pounds some rooms come with a lamp and some don't but i just quite like having a lamp in my room again i think it's really cozy just pop this on my desk and the last couple of bits i've got in this bag um are both from poundland again first thing i've got is a hanging organizer for my wardrobe this was two pounds which i thought was so cheap because when i went in ikea these were like literally like 10 15 pounds um and whether or not i'll use it i don't know but i just thought it would be really handy just to kind of separate clothes in and give me a little bit more extra wardrobe room as well i don't really know about drawer situations and stuff so i just thought this would be like kind of a good purchase to Tape. Also got a laundry bag. Again, this was two pounds. Um, it's just a standard grey one, and it's got some handles as well, which is going to be easy to take it down to the laundry room. Sorry if I've moved positions because I'm literally getting up and down to kind of get all this stuff. Reusable bag. These have literally been my best friends. I've bought so many of these. Really, really useful than just using boxes that are probably going to get thrown away. First things in here are duvet covers. Again, probably gone really overboard, but I found duvet covers for so cheap everywhere, and I just couldn't not buy some. So, like I said, I've got three of these. The first one I've got is a Primark one this is just a reversible floral one it was 11 pounds so I thought that was really good and really really pretty next I got one from Matalan um, this was eight pounds in the sale um, which was crazy cheap um, and it's just a really nice kind of pink geometric pattern just again it's gonna save when I've got duvets in the wash it's quite nice to have a fresh new one on this is from B&M and this is a summer tropics duvet set this was actually the most expensive this is 12.99 then for the duvets I've got some bed sheets so the first thing I've got is a flat sheet double from Primark. This was £5.50. I've been told for my accommodation, flat sheet is the best thing to go with because obviously my bed's a three-quarter double, so it's going to be a lot easier to fold it. Then I also did get a fitted sheet from Matalan um, in this really nice kind of plum colour, really, really pretty um, for a fiver as well. So with that, I got some pillowcases. These were £1.70 the two, which I thought was so, so cheap. Got myself a mattress protector. This was 8 99 I don't know how thick it is, um, but as long as it kind of protects the mattress and protects me from sleeping on the actual mattress, I don't really mind. Got this from B&M. Um, so I definitely have a look at B&M for kind of uni stuff. We got so much of my kitchen stuff in there because it's just so cheap. Last thing I got in here, storage containers. Now I actually need to sort through these because I'm not gonna need this many. It's 15 in here. Um, for three pounds, which I thought was so cheap. Tupperware and containers are gonna be really useful for kind of like meal prepping, maybe having leftovers or if I'm going out or something. So just thought that'd be really, really handy to take up. And then moving on to the last bit of kind of uh, bedroom stuff. I'm obviously gonna be taking a few bits from my actual room, um, like photos, photo albums, um, a few like decorations and things just to kind of make it a bit more personal to me. First thing I've got is one of these Ikea um, storage boxes. These are really standard, they're literally like three pounds. Um, I got it in a gray color, got quite a lot of shoes. So I thought this would come in handy. So I picked up a plant pot from Ikea. So it's just kind of like this fake um, leaves. It's not gonna die on me. Um, and then I also got the pot in the cell for 50 pages to put it in. Thought that would sit quite nicely, maybe on a shelf in my bathroom. Also bought myself some photo frames. So I've got this larger one from Ikea, which was like 70p. Um, and then I also got these two smaller ones, which were from Home Bargains. And these were also like 60p each. Got some hangers. Um, I've got 24 hangers here. They were a pound each for 12, which I thought was really good. As for actual storage, I've just got some storage baskets um, and bins and things. So I've got a small kind of table 
top bin, which was two pound from B and M. Really cool kind of wire basket, which was from Poundland. Um, and then I got two of these baskets. I think these were from Poundland, um, and they were seventy nine p. Just thought that'd be really handy just to store like makeup in or toiletries or just something maybe in the bathroom. So I got those as well. So yeah, I just got this really really pretty storage basket from Matalan. This was eight pounds, I think. Um, and I just thought again, this would be quite nice just to store some bits in the bathroom. In. Next, I have got kitchen stuff pretty much in here, so I'm gonna try and get through with this as quickly as I can. Another thing I've got in here is actually my nan's whisk. Um, now, me and my nan always used to make cakes together when we were little. Um, whether or not I'll be making much cakes, I don't know, but I just thought it was quite a nice kind of like thing to take up, quite sentimental. I've got some tea towels. These are some microfiber ones, so I thought these would be good for like cleaning or just kind of wiping up. Um, and these were £3.50 for four from Primark. My cutlery, my cutlery's from B&M. This is £4, um, which was really, really cheap. So I don't know how long they're gonna last me. 16 piece one, and they've got a really kind of nice kind of bubble effect on the cutlery. So they're quite distinguished, which means, you know, hopefully they won't get too lost with everyone else's. I've got a measuring jug from Home Bargains. This is a standard bottle opener, which was like 70p from Ikea. And I have some cleaning utensils, so I have some kitchen foil. I have one of these dish matics which I actually found in Home Bargains again. Um, and these are meant to be really useful because you can just put the fairy washing up liquid um, in here and it dispenses it out of the sponge. So just got a regular scrubbing brush as well. From Home Bargains, I also got a cheese grater because I eat loads of cheese um, and then a tin opener. Got a standard, just normal uh, tea towel. This was from Ikea, this was 50. For pots and pans, um, so I have this free set of saucepans. This was 6 99 in b &M and it's just got three different sizes, which is gonna be perfect for me when I'm like cooking pasta or something. I also picked up a nine inch frying pan from b &M. This was 2 dollars and it comes with a free spatula as well. This is what I meant when I said I got so much of my stuff from b &M. Small one egg frying pan, which my mum got as kind of a little joke, but I thought this could actually be really useful. This was from Aldi for a pound. I've got a chopping board. This was $1.99 from Poundland. Also got um, a three set of Betty Crocker baking trays. Um, these are 3 dollars it comes with a small, a medium and a large, just really handy to have quite a few for different things. And cooking utensils, these are just like bamboo ones. And this is from um, Poundland again, and it's just a really nice beige colour. I include all my mugs from home, um, which I'm not going to go through because I didn't buy them, they're all from different places. They're mostly gifts actually. The last remaining bits for the kitchen, I just have a colander. Um, now this is actually my colander from home because we have so many of these. got a dustpan and brush, um, this was literally a pound, I think from like B&M or something in here I basically have all of my bowls and my plates so these are actually all given to me from my nan and i shoved loads of tissue paper between them so they don't break my nan literally gave me like a whole dinner set um of stuff because she had so many um and it saved us a lot of money so so happy for my nan for doing that i've got two bowls here and then two egg cups so we've got two pasta bowls two smaller plates and then four larger plates this bag here, um, I've just got some tumbler glasses. These are from B&M. I think they were like a pound each. So I've got kind of like a cool turquoise effect one and then a purple effect one as well. And in here, um, it's basically just kind of essential food that will last me a long time. So like dry tinned food. Um, I'm not gonna go through everything because you can see there's quite a bit in there. Mini baked beans, I have noodles, instant noodles. I have pasta packets, I have actual pasta. I have some biscuits and sauces, just kind of essential stuff that my mum has put together for me. The last few things I bought um, is firstly some toilet roll. I got this from Iceland. This was two pounds for nine rolls, which I thought was amazing. And it's actually quite nice quality as well. It's not even like really thin. So I thought that'd be quite good to take up with me. I've got some notebooks from Asda. I've just kind of got two small A5 ones and then a slightly larger one. And these were a pound each. My mum then got me two of the Pucker Pad A4 project books. Um, now I think these were like two or three pounds each. Um, and they're really handy because they have little folders um, and dividers in between so that's going to be really useful for taking notes and stuff. I've also got a file organiser, all my pens so I've got some sharpies, some coloured pens um, and just some standard Bic writing pens. Um, all of these again I think my mum got from like B&M. Okay so that is literally everything that I'm taking to university. Anything else that I've missed is probably clothes. I'm gonna be taking up my laptop, obviously things like my phone, basically essential bits that I haven't necessarily bought for uni. But this is literally everything. Like I said, there is a lot and I know there's a lot. Um, I do wanna just say a massive thank you to my mum and dad because they have pretty much paid for everything. There's only a few um, smaller things that I bought myself, like the rug and the pillows and stuff that weren't necessarily essential. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a 
thumbs up just to let me know um, that you know it was you know somewhat interesting I didn't actually mention this but um, I'm actually going to uni in Manchester which is about three and a half hours from where I live so it's quite a big deal um, it's really far away hence why I've got so much stuff but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll hopefully see you in my next one bye